I think we might be a bit early. Miss Ashley's not here yet. Good thing we brought snacks. Yep, I brought Mama Goat's haystack cookies. You did? Can I have some? Hmm, what did you bring? Maybe we can trade. I have an apple and some goldfish. I don't know. Oh, and some Oreos. Deal! I love Oreos. Okay, let me grab them. Three. Okay. Come here and I'll give you a haystack cookie. Oh, this haystack cookie is delicious. This Oreo is gross. It tastes like toothpaste. <laughs> what did you do? Well... I really wanted a haystack cookie. And? You weren't going to trade it for an apple or goldfish. And? I had already eaten the cream and the Oreo. And? Well, I put toothpaste between the cookies so you wouldn't trade, so you would trade me. I can't believe you tricked me! Billy, don't be mad. I just really wanted a haystack cookie. And besides, it's kind of a, it's kind of funny. It was not funny. It was gross and mean. It's not a big deal. It is a big deal to me. I gotta go get this taste out of my mouth. Blah. I'm never giving you a haystack cookie again. Billy, wait. Oh, that's a really good reminder. We all need to remember that. Oh, hey everyone. I was just getting ready for today's story. Are y'all ready to learn another story from the Bible together? Awesome. Then why don't you come sit crisscross applesauce so we can get started. Perfect. Let's start with our ready rhyme, just like we do every week. It helps us get ready to listen and watch for all the fun we're gonna have together. Why don't you put one finger up like me? Great job. Ready? Voices disappear as we wiggle our ears. Let's be wise and open our eyes. Shake out the wiggles. Shh, no giggles. Into church we go so God can help us grow, grow, grow. Great job, friends. That's what we're going to do today. Grow, grow, grow as we keep learning about Jesus. Remember, we're learning about our key people in the Bible. Last week, we learned about Isaac, Abraham's son, and when he met his wife, Rebecca. Today, we're going to learn about their twin boys, Jacob and Esau. If you've missed any of our stories, you can go back and watch them. Make sure you watch the story about Abraham and Isaac, because we're going to keep moving forward. Come on, Billy. I said I was sorry. Just forgive me already. Nope. Never! I still can't believe you did that! Hmm, what are they talking about? I think I missed something. What are they fighting about? I'm gonna go find out. Hey guys, what's up? Billy's mad at me. Furious! Because I played a little... Huge! Trick on him. It wasn't a big deal. Wasn't a big deal? I gave you one of my haystack cookies. Mmm, those are so good. And you gave me... An Oreo. I still think I'm missing something. Well, I may have. He put toothpaste between two cookies and called it an Oreo. He tricked me. Bobby, that really wasn't very nice. I know. I said I was sorry, but Billy is still mad. Furious! You know, our story today is about two brothers, and one brother was mad at the other brother for playing a trick on him. I think you two should help me tell it. 
two brothers? And one was mad because the other played a trick on him? Yep, their names were Jacob and Esau. And which one played the trick? Jacob. Fine, then I'm going to be Esau. Bobby, will you help too? I guess. Hopefully at the end, Esau forgives Jacob. Well, why don't we get to our key passage so we can find out? Remember, our key passage comes from the Bible, and it's more valuable than gold or candy or money. Miss Monica is going to tell us about our key passage today. Hi, friends. It's great to see you again this week. Here's our key passage again for this week. It's Genesis 28, 15. Remember, Genesis is the book in the Bible. 28 is the chapter, and 15 is the verse where it's found. It says, what's more? I am with you and I will protect you wherever you go. Genesis 28, 15. Let's use our hand motions to help us remember. Ready? For what's more, we're going to go like this. For I is God, so we're going to point up. For you, we point to each other. For protect, we cross our arms like this. And for wherever you go, we stretch them way out. Ready? Let's put it together. What's more? I am with you, and I will protect you wherever you go. Genesis 28, 15. One more time. What's more? I am with you, and I will protect you wherever you go. Genesis 28, 15. Great job, friends. Thanks, Miss Monica. Thanks, Miss Monica. Thanks, Miss Monica. Yes! It's mail time! Hi, Mailbox. How are you today? I'm fantastic! Why are you in such a good mood? I have been looking forward to this all week. What have you been looking forward to? The glorious time! Drum roll, please! Should have seen that coming. Well, Mailbox, I would never take that away from you. <clears throat> Why do basketball players love Oreos? Because they can dunk them! Too soon, Mailbox. Too soon. Huh? Well, Billy and Bobby had a little... Huge! ...disagreement earlier about an Oreo. Oh, I'm sorry. How about a cookie-free joke? That'd be great, Mailbox. What did the lettuce say to the celery? What? Quit stalking me. <laughs> Quick, Mailbox, tell another joke. Why did the banana go to the doctor? Why? Because he wasn't peeling well. <laughs> <laughs> oh, Mailbox, that was a really good one. You really do know how to brighten our days. I'm not just a mailbox, Miss Ashley. I'm here whenever you need me. Rain or shine or clouds or snow. Or wind or... <laughs> we get it, mailbox, and I appreciate you. Aw, shucks. And I didn't even give you your mail yet. I got mail? Yep. Here you go. Ah! <laughs> Thanks, mailbox. You're so great. We'll see you later. Bye, Bye mailbox. Bye. So, are you two ready to hear our story now? I do love Bible stories. Me too. <laughs> Why don't we open up our Bible and see what God has to say? Oh, that's so lovely. It sure is. Today's story is called Jacob and Esau. But let's pray and talk to God together to get ourselves ready to read the Bible. Everyone shake your hands and clap with me on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and repeat after me. Dear God. Dear God. Thank you for the Bible. Thank you for the Bible. Help us to be quiet and still. 
Help us to be quiet and still. So we can hear from you today. So we can hear from you today. We love you. We love you. In your name we pray. In your name we pray. Amen. Amen. Awesome. Now we're ready to read the Bible. So, who are Jacob and Esau? Jacob and Esau are two brothers who are as different as day and night. Way back in Bible times, a man named Isaac and his wife, Rebekah, prayed for God to give them children. God answered their prayer, and Rebekah had twin boys. What does twin mean? Twin means that Rebekah had two babies at the same time. Esau was the older twin. His name means red. Red? Yeah. You see, when Esau was a baby, his skin was kind of a reddish color, and he had a lot of hair. Here, Billy, I need you to wear this wig for me. Let me put it on you. Get your ears out. There, you look great. Thanks, Miss Ashley. Wow, that's a lot of hair. And Bobby, you will be Jacob. Jacob had smooth skin and darker hair. Here, Bobby, let me get you a headdress. I'll just put it on you and put it behind your ears even better. There. Wow, the brothers really didn't look like each other at all. No, they didn't. When Jacob and Esau got older, they became even more different. They didn't look like each other. They didn't act like each other either. How else were they different? Well, Esau likes to go hunting outside with his bow and arrow. Here you go, Billy. Let me put this on you. Let me fix your hair. There. And Jacob liked to stay inside the house and cook. Here's a hat for you, Bobby. When does that trick come in? We're getting to it. Just keep listening. So, since Esau was the older twin, that meant one day he'd be the leader of the family. Was the leader of the family special? Oh yes, very special. Being the leader of the family meant that Esau would get everything their dad owned. Jacob didn't think that that was very fair. My name is Jacob, and I don't think it's fair that Esau is going to get all of dad's stuff. I better come up with a plan to fix this. While Jacob was coming up with a plan, Esau was outside hunting for something to eat. Shh. I think I hear something coming from that tree over there. Do y'all see it? While Esau was hunting, Jacob was inside cooking up a plan. That's it. Cooking up a plan. I'll make my world famous stew and use it to trick my brother. So Jacob began cooking up his stew. Meanwhile, Esau was outside getting hungrier and hungrier because he couldn't find anything to eat outside. I'm starving, so I'm going home. When Esau got home, he was so hungry and so tired, but he smelt something good cooking. Hey there, brother Esau. I made you some stew. Here, let me take that for you, Jacob. I see you didn't catch any food. I bet you're really hungry. This stew is mighty tasty, you know. I am so hungry. I'd like to have that there stew if you're willing to share. Share? No need for that. You can have all of it. The whole thing? Sure, you can have the whole thing. But first, you you have to let me be the leader of the family. Here, just sign this paper and the stew is all yours. E Esau thought about it. The only thing I'm thinking about is my growling tummy. Where do I sign, Brother Jacob? 
right there by the big X. Here you go, Esau. You can be the new family leader, son, yours truly, Esau. Now give me that stew. Here's the stew he promised you. <laughs> this is the best stew this side of Egypt. Delicious. <laughs> now Jacob was the new family leader, even though the trade wasn't very fair. Ah, uh, yes. I'm the new family leader. Dad is going to give me everything now. <laughs> this is good, chow. Wait a minute. A new family leader? Hey, you tricked me while I was hungry. That's not fair. It wasn't fair at all. Jacob had been unkind to his brother, but Jacob didn't care that Esau had traded something so special for just a bowl of stew. Jacob, you tricked me! Oh well, buddy. Jacob didn't care that he had done the wrong thing. And you know what? That wasn't even the meanest trick Jacob ever played. It wasn't? Seems pretty mean to me. The next trick included Isaac. Isaac was their dad, right? Yep, Isaac was their father. He was very sick and couldn't see very well. It was time for Isaac to give Esau the special blessing to be the new family lead, to be the family leader. But I thought Jacob had traded it. Well, he did, but Isaac didn't know that yet. So now it was time for Jacob to trick Isaac too. Their mom helped Jacob put on a disguise to look like Esau. Here, Bobby, let me get one on you. You'll need this. And you'll need these on your arms, too. Their mom helped Jacob put red hair on his arms so that he would look like Esau. Did the disguise fool Isaac? I bet he didn't fall for that. Actually, he did. He couldn't see very well. And when he touched Jacob's arms, they felt hairy, just like Esau's. So, Isaac really thought Jacob was Esau? Yup. He really thought Isaac, that Isaac really thought that Jacob was Esau, and he gave him the special blessing to be the leader of the family. Yay! I'm the leader of the family! When Esau came home from hunting, he brought his dad his favorite meal, and they both realized that Jacob had tricked them to be the leader of the family and get the special blessing. Couldn't Isaac just give the blessing to Esau anyways? No, Billy. The blessing could only be given one time, and now Jacob had it. The trick hurt Isaac and Esau very much. It Jacob's lie made Esau so mad that Jacob had to move away to his uncle's house to live. Here, let me get your costume off of you, Bobby. How long do I have to stay at my uncle's house? Jacob stayed away a long, long time. While he was away, Jacob got married and he and his wife had lots of kids. I love my wife. And kids, I'm happy here. But one day, God told Jacob to go back to his home where Esau was. So he packed up all of his belongings and he and his wife and kids got ready for the long trip home. Was Jacob excited to go home? Actually, I think he was still afraid that Esau would be mad at him. I would still be mad. So Jacob sent helpers ahead to tell Esau that he wanted to come home. The helpers came back and told Jacob that Esau was coming to see him with 400 men. 400 men? That sounds like an army. That's what Jacob thought. Jacob thought that Esau was coming to see him with an army. So he sent gifts ahead of him to see if Esau would forgive him. Jacob sent sheep and goats and cows and donkeys. That sure sounds like a lot of animals. 
it was a lot of animals. Jacob and his family walked behind the animals until they saw Esau and his men coming toward them. And then Jacob walked to his brother, bowing to the ground. Hi, Esau. I'm really sorry. It sounds like he was pretty nervous. He was, but you know what? He didn't have to be. When Esau saw Jacob coming, he ran to his brother and hugged him and kissed him. Esau had forgiven Jacob without even accepting the gifts. Without accepting the gifts? Without accepting the gifts. Esau loved Jacob very much, and he didn't want to stay mad at him. <sighs> You're right, Miss Ashley. I forgive you, Bobby. I don't want to stay mad at you. Thanks, Billy. I really am sorry. I know. Friends. Best friends. Aw, I'm so glad you two made up. Here, Billy, let me get your costume off of you. There you go. Thanks for telling me that story, Miss Ashley. I really needed to hear it. No problem, Billy. And can I show you one more cool thing? Yes, please. I think I know what I got in the mail. Let me show you. Just open it up. And voila. Oreos. Double stuffed with real filling. Miss Ashley, how'd you know? I didn't, but God did. God always knows what we need. Remember, our key passage says he's always with us. God was with both Esau and Jacob, even when Jacob ran away. He was? Yeah, he was. God helped Esau to forgive Jacob. And even though Jacob had been unkind, God still kept his promise to bless Jacob's family. He did? He sure did. Remember, God always keeps his promises, and he always has a plan. God's plans are the best. They sure are. Why don't we practice God's plan for me together? Friends, will you stand up with me and put your crowns up so you're ready to do God's plan? All right, let's do it together on the count of three. Ready? One, two, three. God rules. We sinned. God provided. Jesus gives. We respond. Good job. Now we're going to do it in chipmunk voices. So can you talk really high and squeaky like this? Great job. Put your crowns up and we're going to go on the count of three. a great idea. Let's do it in robot voices. So put your crowns up and show me your best robot moves. Ready? One, two, three. God rules. We send. God provided. Jesus gives. We respond. <laughs> that was fun. Now let's end with our race just like we always do. So put your crowns up and we're going to do it super duper fast. Remember, you have to do the whole thing and then say crisscross applesauce. Ready? One, two, three. God will sing that five Jesus respond. Great job, friends. You did it really fast. Remember, God is good and he always keeps his promises. He promised to never leave us and to always help us. Let's pray and thank him for all of that. Will you clap with me on the count of three? One, two, three. Put your hands in your lap and I'm gonna pray for us. Dear God, you promised to never leave us and you always love us. Thank you for always keeping your promises no matter what. We love you. In your name we pray, amen. I had such a great time with you today, friends. So did I. Me too. And we can't wait until next time when we all come back so God can help us grow, grow, grow. 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 Bye.